deceive you by any false peace. Don't allow any one having the spirit of the Antichrist to lure you into any covenant by their deception, which is based on false peace. And I receive more of the grace of God, and you live in the grace of God to be a real peaceful child of God. Don't think the whole world is going to love you because of that. The more you get into the spirit, the more those in the flesh will oppose you, contradict you oppress you, persecute you. Make up your mind not to fear. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Never fear. Never fight. Don't fight in attitude. Don't fight in action. Don't fight them with words. Don't show them anything. Just plain, loving, gentle child of God. Don't flee. Don't fly. Stay. At the post of duty, don't faint, don't allow discouragement, cancel those songs of self pity. I don't sing those songs anymore. Don't faint. Don't fall. Keep on standing for righteousness. Don't forsake the Lord. Don't forget your consecration. And not allow anything to frustrate you either. In the midst of that persecution, request for more grace. Rely on the unfailing promises of God. Receive more grace to be what you ought to be. And rejoice. And rejoice. And rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. His mercy is so sweet. Renew your consecration before the Lord. Reject the temptation to slow down the path of righteousness just because there is persecution. Rest in the Lord. Then the Lord will see you through. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted thee the prophets that were before you.